So Sri Lanka will be perhaps looking to uh, pick up their run rate in this period, whilst Pakistan will be hoping that Sami can get a couple of wickets. One thing that was noticeable with Mohamed Sami though was when he came back in the earlier games for his second spell, he got the ball to go away from the right-handers, while in his first spell with the new ball, he could never get it to go away. Everything was coming into the right-hander. We'll see what happens in this, on this occasion. Certainly with that delivery, it looked more like an in-swing type of action. His entire delivery action looks more like an in-swing bowler. You know, you can see the way the, the right arm is almost pushing the ball in towards the batsman. And his wrist is slightly angled at that angle as well. Everything seemingly pushing towards the right-handed batsman. I was making note of that earlier on in an earlier game that although that is fine that you have to have that ability to push the ball into the right hander you need to be able to rotate that wrist a little bit as well to try and get the ball to go away from the right hander it's not impossible to push it in and get it to hit the seam and just straighten but it just makes things a little bit easier if you can just rotate that wrist a bit get it perhaps a little bit more anti-clockwise that will certainly give the ball a much more opportunity to go away from the right-handed batsman. as if that last delivery just straightened a bit. Pretty good over so far by Sami. Let's have a look at this last delivery. Again, the seam is landed in, but you can see just hitting the seam and straightening just a touch. It's a good start by Mohamed Sami. Up to a Razak. 